Welcome to the next episode of the Dark Web Deacon. Before we begin, be sure to smash that subscribe button, click the bell to turn on notifications, and check out the latest items in the Dark Web Deacon merch store. There is a link in the video description below, and become a true Dark Web enthusiast. New videos are published every Monday and Thursday. Most people are familiar with two-factor authentication, aka 2FA. People use it all the time for ATM machines and more and more to log into their financial accounts. 2FA requires something you have, like an ATM card, and something you know, like your ATM pin, for the system to work. But what about 3FA or even 4FA? Do they exist and who will use it? Three-factor authentication does exist and is a security protocol that requires identity confirming credentials from three different authentication factors to grant access. The three authentication factors include something you have, a physical item such as a token or a card, something you know, a code, a password or a pin, and something you are, a biometric item such as a fingerprint, facial recognition, or retinal scan. 4FA or four-factor authentication is also possible and the additional fourth factor is based on somewhere you are, aka location. 3FA and 4FA authentication is mainly used in businesses and government agencies that require the highest degrees of security. It is important to keep in mind that the reliability of authentication is affected not only by the number of factors involved, but also how they are implemented. For example, the choices made for authentication rules greatly affect the security of each factor. A poor or absent password rule, for example, can result in the creation of passwords like guest, which completely defeats the value of using a password. Facial recognition systems can be, in some cases, be defeated by holding up a picture. More effective systems may require a blink or even a wink to register. Lax rules and implementations result in weaker security. Alternatively, better rules can yield better security per factor and better security overall for multi-factor authentication systems. As the onslaught of threats to individuals' personal data and financial records has no end in sight, expect to see 3FA and 4FA to become more integrated into everyday use. Thanks for watching, and as always, please like, subscribe, and provide comments, and turn on notifications by clicking the bell in order to check out future videos published twice a week.